Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with an update on the E450 Tiny Home. So let's get cracking. Once again, friends, you can find this under the Designer Showcase because it was given to us by James Tampa, who goes by Arcturus1020. When you scroll down, this is the free project file. Notice it is the interior empty one. When you click on it, you can see my tutorial, which James is putting here for us. You can watch that at your leisure. What you do, though, to start is hit copy and tinker. Now here's where we're at, friends. My kids wanted this to be different window shapes. And the way it's currently built, you can't do that. So friends, I've got a solution. Let's go back to the showcase, and this time let's choose HL Mod Tech. It'll show you all of my designs, but I want you to switch to latest. Now today it's at the very top, later it'll be somewhere down here, but you want the window for the E450 shuttle bus and you wanna copy and tinker it too. So notice we have two windows open. I have got two perfectly sized windows that you can do control C to copy, switch to your other project and do control V to paste. Notice they pop in, but they are turned the wrong way. You can fix that by typing 90 and pressing enter. Now I'm gonna grab one set and I'm gonna pull it off to the side and I'm gonna save it just in case I need it later. I'm gonna take this first set. If you ever make a mistake, do control Z. And I'm just gonna grab the hole. I'm gonna pull this hole over to the spot where I'd wanna put it. Notice you can nudge it in place. One thing that my students noticed was they don't like the snap grid in US. So what you can do is quickly switch to millimeters just like that and tell it update grid. So now you're working with whatever you want. Inches is great if you're trying to build scale. We're just building for fun so we don't really have to have that. So now that I have this one window in place, friends, you can click on the old windows and you can just hit delete. Boom, that cleans those up. I'm going to clean them up on the other side as well. And this way we can come up with our own custom window placement. Now I'm going to click on the whole project and I'm going to do ungroup and I'm going to do ungroup. And now friends, we can click on this large hole and delete it. We can click on these and delete it. All right, friends. So with that window in place, I'm going to click on the gray center and the and hold shift and click the outside. And I'm going to move them outside so they're not in the way for the next part. Now we can click on our one good window hole. We can do control D. We can do shift nudge to move it wherever we want. I'm gonna do control D again. I'll nudge that to the exact spot I want. Friends, now that I've got the three windows, I wanna click somewhere else. Then I'm gonna click on the first window, hold shift, click the second and the third window. That way we just canceled out our control Ds. We'll do control D again, and we can do shift nudge to move it to the other side so it's ready to cut out the exact same way. Now, what if you don't want a window here? Like say this was where you were putting your shower. Boom, you can delete it. So now that we've got these all in place, I'm gonna take this chunk and I'm gonna group it even with the wheel wells because they're permanent anyhow. I will turn on multicolor though because that makes that look a little cooler. Then my friends, we simply have to put this window in each spot. It is this easy. I'm gonna do arrow keys to move it down nudge it in place and when you get it inside the little window area you can just nudge it till it's perfect that my friends is how you can add all kinds of amazing custom windows into your tiny home friends those aren't the only free things you can add check this out if we go back to arcturus 1020 he has also given you an amazing mini fridge when you click on it don't forget to give them a reaction like, oh my gosh, that is awesome. Hit copy and tinker. And then once you open it, you need to select it all. Do control C, switch to your sweet E450 and do control V. And then boom, you will have a sweet mini fridge. I'm gonna rotate it around so I've got it facing the right way. Use my arrow keys to nudge it into place. Now remember friends, James is making this to scale because he really wants one. And if we zoom in and check it out, he has also added amazing things like fridge grates and other things to make it even more realistic. Friends, as you're having fun with this, make sure you're using all these cool shapes and all the other tools you have at your disposal. Of course, friends, if you do use other people's materials, make sure you give them credit 
and if you've got cool features make sure you also explain them with notes and of course friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please also give it a share so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech thanks for watching have a great day